Now, days after India summoned a German diplomat over remarks against Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal's arrest, Germany seems to have shifted its tone. The German Foreign Ministry recently said that uh, the Indian constitution guarantees fundamental human values and freedom. When asked about the summoning of the diplomat, Germany said that it is uh, reluctant to talk about confidential internal discussions earlier a german foreign affairs spokesperson had had uh, in fact hoped that uh, standards relating to independence of the judiciary and basics democratic principles would be applied in kejriwal's case my colleague akshit gupta joins us on the broadcast to give us more of this akshit there seems to be a shift in the tone um, of statements that are being now uh, that are now being made uh, by Germany, give our viewers more details on this. Akshit, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, so, if I if I just tell you that uh, days after Indian uh, India summoned a German diplomat uh, calling the remarks against uh, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal's arrest a uh, blatant uh, uh, interference, uh, the German uh, Ministry has heaped praise and exuded confidence in the Indian judicial system. Uh, they've also stated that Indian Constitution, uh, 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 from their perspective. Uh, uh, guarantees fundamental human values and freedoms uh, and uh, uh, of course uh, we share these democratic values with India as an important partner in Asia. Uh, well, after facing backlash from India, uh, the German ministry has also said that the topic was discussed uh, with the MEA uh, and uh, they have emphasized one again, once again that India and Germany uh, have a great interest in closer cooperation and together in an atmosphere of trust. Of course, there uh, a change of tone, a change of uh, perhaps uh, uh, after India actually, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, they faced backlash from India. Uh, and uh, uh, earlier, of course, a German foreign affairs spokesperson had hoped that the standards relating to the independence uh, of the judiciary and the basic democratic principles could be applied uh, in the Kejriwal case, uh, who has been uh, arrested by ED in the Delhi Exercise Policy Scan case. Right, absolutely, Akshat. With that, I'd like to thank you for joining us on the broadcast, sharing all those details with our viewers. Meanwhile, joining us at this point of time is Mr. Sanjay Kapoor, foreign affairs expert. So, good morning and thank you so much for taking our time and speaking to us on News X. Now, you know, in Initially, Germany had issued a statement saying that the standards relating to the independence of the judiciary and basic democratic principles, uh, uh, you know, would be applied in Kejriwal's case. But now they've completely shifted their tone. They're now saying that the Indian constitution guarantees fundamental human values and freedom. Now, in your assessment, why has there been the shift in uh, the tone then and, and, and the statements that have, they have made? So, uh, in your reckoning, you think that they have uh, done a U-turn on this? Uh, if that is the case, because I'm not familiar with the second statement that they have issued. I'm only uh, familiar with the first one, after which they got a dressing down from the MEA on uh, interfering in internal affairs of the country. But in my uh, considered opinion, uh, the case of Karbin Kejriwal is a bit unusual, primarily because, uh, you know, he's a serving chief minister who's been in, uh, put behind bars, especially after the model code of conduct has been brought into force by the election commission. Ideally, I have in the last 30, 40 years that I've been covering elections and watching democracy and departures from very close quarters. I haven't seen a case like this. So, in a certain way, if you look at it, uh, there, is a, there is a bit of a concern that why is it happening? Why are these rates only limited to the opposition parties and not and nothing happening in the case of the people in power. So uh, Germany, or for that matter, the U.S. for that matter, U.S. has also uh, raised eyebrows. In fact, they were also summoned by MEA yesterday and they were told that they have no business to interfere in internal affairs of the, power of the government. But look, look at it from this standpoint that when we have shared values, we talk about, you know, a concept of democracy and stuff like that. Uh, it becomes a bit difficult for uh, partners to ignore what has happened because if you look at how Russia has uh, behaved with Navalny and uh, he was, uh, he died in prison. So, you know, you have a domestic uh, uh, audience, a domestic uh, population which is concerned when, when they see the, their government or the society not reacting to departures abroad. But having said that, I think there is a lot that the West could have done in trying to control what's happening in Gaza or in Palestine. I think there is certain hypocrisy which is undeniable. 
but we have to domestically worry uh, ourselves about what is really happening the departure that are taking place thank you for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon